hello students my next video on conduction of urine and micturition okay so first of all we will discuss about conduction of urine so conduction of urine means the passage of urine okay so first of all urine is formed in, urine is formed in the um, kidney okay so kidney in the kidney uh, the nitrogenous waste products are separated by or filtered in the urine filtered in the kidney to form urine the kidney urine is that hypertonic in urine is formed in the in the kidney where in the nephron structure in the nephron the blood undergoes the filtration process glomerular filtration is takes place as a result the blood is filtered to form nephric filtrate then after that uh, selective reabsorption takes place to finally to produce hypertonic urine in the collecting duct okay collecting duct okay the urine is the hypertonic urine is formed next the collecting ducts okay so uh, in the kidney for example here this is the kidney okay so in the kidney two regions are present cortical region and medullary region okay cortical region and medullary region so in the medulla medullary region the renal pyramids are present so in the here in the renal pyramids the collecting ducts the two three collecting ducts they join to form collecting ducts they join to form duct of bellini okay duct of bellini okay so these duct of bellini they opens into the here opens into the renal calyces renal calyx here renal calyx are present so all renal renal calyx are opens into the a wide portion is called this wide portion is called renal pelvis renal pelvis okay then renal pelvis continues as a tube like structure is called ureter this one is ureter okay so here this one is ureter okay then ureter opens into the urinary bladder here this is urinary bladder so here two ureters are opens into the urinary bladder then urinary bladder okay then urinary bladder opens into the urethra okay so this is the urethra okay that opening is that tube so here the urinary bladder opens into urethra urethra opens into outside through the urethral meters urethral meters this opening is called urethral meters so this is the pathway of urine passage or conduction of urine okay so next we will talk about micturition so micturition means releasing of the urine from the urinary bladder is called micturition okay releasing of the urine from the urinary bladder is called micturition so here urinary bladder urinary bladder is made up of smooth muscles smooth muscles so these muscles are called detritus muscles okay so these muscles are called detrisor detrisor muscles okay so the urinary bladder made up of smooth muscles that muscles are called detrisor muscles okay next the inner lining of urinary bladder inner lining of urinary bladder made up of transitional epithelium transitional epithelial tissue okay so urinary bladder is a bag like structure it helps to helps in the storage of urine okay so next the micturition so micturition means the releasing of urine from the releasing of urine from uh, uh, it releases into the outside that process is called micturition so this micturition is called is reflex reflex arc okay so which means it depends on the cns central nervous system it controlled by central nervous system the micturition process is controlled by central nervous system so whenever the urinary bladder urinary bladder fills with filled with 
urine filled with urine so what will happen the muscles the smooth muscles get uh, contract smooth muscles muscles get contract okay so as there is some stretch stretching is takes place the urinary bladder stretching is takes place so that due to that stretching stretchings that signals pass to the cns signals pass to the cns so when the urinary bladder some stretching some uh, uh, changes some con uh, contraction is takes place stretching is takes place that information that signals pass to the cns so in the cns that information is uh, uh, analyzed in the cns so again that um, signals pass to the urinary here urethra the signals are passed to the urethra through the cns the signals through that central nervous system the signals pass to the urethra next urethra is made up of two sphincters so here urethra has two sphincters inner or internal internal sphincter external internal sphincter external sphincter okay so internal sphincter is made up of smooth muscle smooth muscles external sphincter made up of skeletal muscle okay internal sphincter the urethra here this urethra here the urethra has two sphincters okay internal sphincter and external sphincter internal sphincter is made up of smooth muscle external sphincter is made up of skeletal muscle so when the when urinary bladder if the urinary bladder filled with urine it maximum it stores the uh, half to 1 liter of urine so whenever it stores the urine whenever it fills so that smooth muscle get contract okay so that signals pass to the cns see in the cns that information is analyzed in the cns again that signals again uh, reach to the urethra okay so in in urethra these two sphincters the internal sphincters and external internal sphincters they get relaxed okay so next in the urethra the sphincters relaxed okay sphincters get relaxed as a result here that's opening okay here this opening can open so urine releases it urine release outside or urine uh, eliminate outside so this process is called micturition okay so micturition process is this reflex arc it's controlled by cns okay so whenever urinary bladder filled with urine the muscles the smooth muscles can stretch so as as a result the signals signals can form that signals pass to the cns in the cns that information is which information urinary bladder is filled so that information pass to the uh, urethra so in the urethra two sphincters are present external internal internal sphincter made up of smooth muscle external sphincter made up of skeletal muscle these sphincters can open uh, or um, relaxed okay so that urine can pass to the outside okay next in the adult pons in the brain pons region is present in the pons region inhibitory center inhibitory center is present inhibitory center or a delayed center can call also delayed center so this center with the help of this center the adult can hold a urine for longer period okay so this inhibitory center it inhibits the the opening and opening of the this sphincters means they controls the the they controls the uh, urination okay so means they the urinary bladder can hold the urine for longer period so this is in adults okay this is working in adults in infants in the kids okay it's not working okay so this is conduction of urine and micturition okay so next we will discuss about composition of urine okay next composition of urine okay so what are the components are present in the urine okay first of all uh, 
color color of the urine okay main generally it is pale yellow in color yellow color pale yellow color due to the presence of urochrome pigment okay due to the presence of urochrome pigment it is pale yellow in color okay but in some conditions like uh, for example we are taking the b complex b complex drugs or b complex tablets or drugs then b t uh, then beetroot we are taking in the beetroot in these conditions the urine yeah. urine color can change because of that these beetroot and b complexes drugs so certain drugs like beetroot like b complexes and certain foods like beetroot they can change the urine color okay normally this pale yellow color due to the presence of urochrome pigment ne okay next smell it gives a very bad smell okay so because of that urea okay so in the urine urea is present so urea gives the very bad smell next volume normally a adult a normal healthy person a healthy person can release 1 to 1.0 liters per day okay so in the normal condition in normal a healthy person can release the can eliminate the urine 1 to 1.5 liters okay so this is volume but in different conditions in uh, diabetes pa patients or in other condition they may change but in normally the human a adult human can release the 1 to 1.0 liter per day okay next tonicity tonicity means concentrate concentration it is hyper to hypertonic urine the concentration is high concentrated urine is produced in mammals or human being so high concentrated urine so that's why that is called hypertonic urine okay next mm, composition of urine chemical composition of urine chemical composition of of urine so chemical composition of urine next we will discuss about chemical composition so in the urine uh 96% of water is present okay already maximum amount of water is reabsorbed but again in the urine 96% of water is present next 2% 2% urea okay 2% other substances okay 2% of urea 2% of other substances are present in this 2% of urea generally 25 to 30 grams of urea 20 okay 25 to 30 grams of urea can excrete per day okay a healthy person can excrete 25 to 30 grams per 30 grams urea per day next other substances different types of the other substances are present they are Uh, hippuric acid, hippuric acid. Next, um, phosphates, oxalates, oxalates, and creatinine, creatinine. So these are the other substances are present in the urine. Okay. So this is about composition of urine. So urine generally pale color, pale yellow in color. It gives the very bad smell. next a healthy person can excrete the 1 to 1.5 liters per day next the hypertonic urine is produced produced in mammals in human being also next chemical composition 96% of water is present 2% of urea 2% of other substances are present so in this 2% generally per day per day so a a healthy person can excrete the 25 to 30 grams urea per day okay next what are the other substances so other substances other substances means like hippuric acid phosphates oxalate and creatinine these are the other substances so these components are present in the urine 